Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create an animated glowing text behind a car in After Effects. I recently shared my latest reel on Instagram and many of you asked how I made it, so let's get started. First click on track camera and wait for it to finish analyzing the footage. Once the analysis is complete, I'll create a text and a camera right on the car, since I want the text to follow its movement. You can type anything here, for example I'll write AM film. Next feel free to adjust the text by changing the font. I'll use the same one I used in my reel, but you can choose any style you like. You can also modify the size, color, and other settings. In my case, I'll keep the text as it is. Finally let's fix the rotation and position so the text sits perfectly on the car. Once you're done, you can preview the tracking to make sure everything looks right. In my case the result turned out great. The next step is animating the text. Start by expanding the text settings, then click on Animate and choose Opacity. Set the opacity to 0%. Now expand Range Selector 1, and make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the layer. Click the stopwatch icon next to start to add a keyframe. Then move forward in the timeline to the point where you want the text to be fully visible, and set the start value to 100%. Now we can preview the video to check the animation. Everything looks good, but let's make the animation smoother. Select both keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor, right-click inside it, and choose Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the handles to create a smooth curve for a more natural and polished animation. Everything looks good so far. Now let's enable motion blur on the text layer to add a bit of natural blurriness during the movement. Looks way better to me. Now I'll add some effects to enhance the look, starting with shadows and then adding a glow. First I'll apply a shadow and adjust its settings until it looks right for my scene. Feel free to tweak the settings based on your own style and preference. Next I'll add a glow using the Deep Glow plugin. If you don't have that plugin, the built-in glow effect in After Effects works just fine too. Under the Deep Glow plugin, I'll slightly reduce the exposure to make sure the text remains clearly visible. Now I'm not quite happy with the text color, so I'll change it. You can do this either from the text settings or by applying a fill effect. I think I'll go with a yellow color for this example. It's looking great so far, but I think the overall look will be even better if the text appears behind the car. To do that, I'll duplicate the main clip and place the duplicated layer above the text layer in the timeline. Next delete the 3D camera tracker effect from the duplicated layer. Then scroll to the beginning of that layer, select the roto brush tool and double click on the duplicated layer to start the rotoscoping process. Make sure to rotoscope the car as smoothly and accurately as possible. Once you're satisfied with the selection, click the freeze button to lock in the frames. After the freezing process is complete, you can close the rotoscoping window and return to the main composition. Let's quickly check the result. Everything looks good so far, but I'll fine tune the roto brush settings to improve the edges. I'll increase the feather to around 10 to make the edges smoother, slightly reduce the shift edge, and set reduce chatter to 100%. That should clean things up nicely, and we're done with the text animation effect. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.